Right guys, Mark Crossfield here with Golf Online and today I'm going to have a little chat about improving your game. So let's have a general little chat about some of the misconceptions I see uh, around with golfers trying to get better. Um, we've got Coach Lockie off camera here actually producing the show. Hello. Hello Matthew off show, off camera there, but he is there doing technical wizardry. Um, so some of the misconceptions I see around um, People trying to get better, uh, and I see it on social, and I try to use my social posts to kind of let people really try to challenge their thinking to hopefully help them improve and not practice on the wrong things. Uh, still very much the position-based ideas around improving. So people saying to me, um, I'm overswinging, how do I stop overswinging? And then I say to them, well, what are you trying to fix at set delivery? And they have no answer. I don't, I just cannot see how that's a connection. Swinging the club a certain length back, having a direct impact to how you collide with the ball down at impact. Obviously, player to player, it can have an impact, but as a generalized statement, I don't see any kind of connection. Um, so really for focus for me, uh, for you guys wanting to get better out there with your golf, make sure you've got the right golf equipment, comfortable in your shoes and your equipment, you know, bag and all that is important, but also concentrating your efforts on making sure you're working on the correct things um, to help you get better is, is, is one of the most important things, one of the things I see people not really getting right. Um, to give you a few examples, the uh, over overswing on the backswing there is a great example. Another great classic one I get is is my backswing uh, is you know is my takeaway in the right position. Well, is your takeaway in the right position to do what? Because if I'm going to hit the ball with 20 yards worth of curvature right to left, so like I want to hit a good solid you know big draw with every shot, my takeaway position might be very different to if I'm going to hit low stinging cutty fades into a center of a fairway every time and uh, so having a correct backswing position has to be relative to what you're trying to deliver what you're trying to get out and in around you'll find that it probably changes as well um what are your thoughts matt they're off camera there just to interrupt you um does that make sense yeah like backswing personally i try and do something that makes me feel like i'm going to change my impact so um, it's more of a feel-based thing. I don't care where it is, yeah. as long as I'm delivering the club in the right spot. So um, you do see it a lot on Twitter. I agree. Is this right? Is that right? Um, I mean, they're almost questions I can't answer yeah, without. And some people think that I'm being rude. Yeah. Like, why aren't you answering this? Well, yeah. I want to see some like numbers or some facts. First yeah. And yeah. Then, oh, I'll start answering. Them. Or will will my swing be better if I hit this position on the back swing? Don't know. Because, yeah, yeah in, until you show me how you deliver it, yeah. it's going to be impossible to, to see. So I think a really interesting point for golfers out there, I think a real misconception amongst so many, and I think telly and media breed this, is that you need to be hitting certain positions. I think that's such a, a, a common problem. I mean, lots of my lessons nowadays with students, you give them the fix or the swing for or the idea, you, you ask them to perform a task in a different way, and often they're like shocked that that's all they're getting. Like I will say, can you just hit the ball a bit more, a bit higher? Yeah. And they're like, well, is that it? How do I do that? You have a go, look. You've got to hit it up there. See what if you can work it out a little bit. Mm. That kind of self-discovery for players, I think, is, is a powerful, powerful tool. Um, yeah, next time you're out practicing, try and work from strike backwards. All my lessons are from strike backwards. So how you're delivering the, uh, the club, what kind of shapes you're getting out of shots, relating that to strike and then working back from there not from start outwards, which is the common belief, grip, posture, aim, all those kind of things, which uh, you see people playing at every different standard, on tour with many different grips, I see people playing at 20 handicaps with many different grips, 10 handicaps, many different grips, scratch handicaps, many different grips. You can play at any standard you want uh, with a very uh, a big selection of uh, techniques and uh, adjust positions and setups. It's about making it as functional as possible. Post comments down below. Uh, you having lessons, have lessons, are you measuring impact? Is it something you thought about? Are you changing your backswing and hitting a position and makes you feel like you're playing better? Share with us, let me know what is helping you improve and hopefully a few ideas in there that might help you get a bit more of an understanding of what you need to do to maybe push to that next level.